In a recent video, I showed you how to run Llama.cpp with Intel Arc GPUs using Sickle inside Podman containers on Linux. Today, I'm putting two of those cards head to head, the Arc A770 and the newer B580. And honestly, the results were not what I expected. Some of them surprised me and might surprise you too. So if you're thinking about using Intel Arc consumer cards for local LLMs on Linux, Here's the big question. Is it actually worth it right now? Let's find out. All right, let's talk setup. I ran each of four models three times for consistency. The models, Mistral, 0.1 7 billion instruct and Quen 2.5 7 billion instruct, both quantized to 4-bit precision. Quen 2.5 7 billion, but this time quantized to 8-bit precision. And finally, Quen 2.5 14 billion quantized to 4-bit precision. All prompts were identical. What is object-oriented programming? I chose this question specifically because I wanted the models to generate longer, more detailed responses. It's a conceptual open-ended prompt, one that encourages explanation and structure, not just a one-line answer. I collected data for several metrics, but I'll focus primarily on token generation speed. I picked these models because of VRAM limits. The A770 has 16 gigs, the B580 only 12. So let's see if that matters. For this test, I ran the A770 using the i915 driver, paired with the May 2025 Battle Mage enabled build of Llama.cpp. The B580 used the XE driver, which is its default and, as far as I know, only configuration with the same Llama.cpp Battle Mage build. Here's the specs of the test system. It's the same system as the one used in most of my videos. Let's start with the lighter models, the ones that should be easy to run. I call this round, Battle of the 4-Bit Quants, where I test Mistral 7 billion version 0 0.1 and Quen 2.5 7 billion instruct, both quantized to 4-bit precision. On screen, the A770 results are in blue. The B580 results are in purple. And as you can see, the B580 outperformed the A770 by about 35% in both tests, a result I didn't expect given the A770's higher VRAM and memory bandwidth. One side observation. Quen gives longer, more detailed answers than Mistral. But to be fair, this is an earlier version of Mistral. Anyway, the A770 still lagged behind in this round of testing. Not just a little, significantly. Now, things get heavy. The next round. Big, big Pumps! Big, big models. models! This round includes Quen 2.5 7 billion quantized to 8-bit precision, about 8 gigabytes in size, and Quen 2.5 14 billion quantized to 5-bit precision, which leaves it to require about 10.5 gigabytes in VRAM. Both cards struggled. I expected that from the B580. Quen 2.5 14 billion pushes close to its 12 gigabyte VRAM limit. It's tight, but doable. But I was shocked that the A770 struggled even more. The A770's token generation speed dropped to just a few tokens per second, almost slow enough for you to go and make a cup of coffee while the response comes in. The B580 stayed a bit faster and more usable, despite its lower specs. Something's off with the A770. My best guess? I'm thinking something to do with the driver. I'm not an expert, but there's also been talk about issues with the A770's architecture, but the inconsistencies aren't always consistent. Remember, the A770 is relying on i915, which is probably sort of being abandoned by Intel devs for the XE driver now, and it might not have been written with workloads like LLM inference in mind. The B580, on the other hand, uses the modern XE driver, actively developed, and it seems better optimized for tasks like this. From what I've seen with gaming on Intel Arc, the i915 driver for the A770 feels like a staging area for XE improvements. If regressions from that staging cycle aren't caught or fixed, real users feel the impact. And I wonder if that extends to trying to run local models on Alchemist GPUs on Linux. So here's my takeaway. The hardware isn't bad, at least from a high level, but Alchemist, the architecture behind the A770, 
might just be a sort of stepping stone for the future of Linux driver development at this point. The B580 gave me more consistent and faster results, not because it's more powerful on paper, but maybe because it runs on a better software stack. The A770 underperformed, despite its specs, likely due to outdated drivers and lack of optimization, for whatever reason, in the current sickle path. If you want to try out Intel Arc for local LLMs on Linux using Sickle right now, the B580 appears to be the more reliable choice. Looking ahead, it seems the real potential lies with Battlemage and the Arc Pro B series, especially if full open Vino support ships soon. Until then, we wait. I'll try to continue to test, especially if there's an appetite for this sort of information. And if anything interesting comes up, I'll share what I find. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, consider liking or subscribing, or both if you're feeling generous. Until next time.